quick, quick take on xenophobia in South Africa right now. Yeah. What, you know, with Nigerians and South Africans, yeah. what's, your, what's your take on that? You know what? Um, for me, I'm first generation South, South African. And every time I say, like, when people are like, oh, artists need to, or like celebrities need to, or whatever need to, s to put awareness on this thing. And it's like, you need to understand that artists and celebrities have already been woken up. We've mm. had the fortunate thing to be able to travel to different countries and see different people and understand that we are unified and we should be one. Mm -hmm. You know, for me, I feel like politicians the government, they need to do actual things and steps to be able to unify our countries and our people. Yeah. I've always said that Africa, I wish we didn't need visas to get different countries. I wish it was just one country and we just could do whatever and right. travel whatever. They've been working on work. that for so long. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that breaks my heart every time that, that ish happens because it's like you need to remember, we all need to remember who helped who mm. back in the day. You know, we, we all, there's always someone that comes to someone's aid. There's someone, SA comes to someone's aid. P the another country, Tanzania, comes to the SA's aid through apartheid. There's always a situation where we need to come together and unify as people and not about our nationality and where we come from. So that is just really breaking my heart. And it scares me so much because this is not what we should be doing in the state of the game. You know, um, our music is getting so international that we really need to come together together. That's what I was tweeting about. I was talking about we need to actually work together more often. Yeah. And right. that's the that's the, it has the same notion of having to accept each other, you know?